interesting to know that in 1919, the first Danone yogurt was made in Barcelona. For Danone Barcelona, the yogurt marketplace had become very competitive. There was a need to reduce costs and improve efficiencies. And so the Suplin project was born. This was a joint initiative between Danone and Smurfit Kappa with two main objectives to create a single point of contact for all Danone packaging needs and to provide measurable, trackable KPIs. So you have to be always open minded just to receive information, give information, and put them together in the same table. The five principal objectives. First of all, the strength of the trays. Then we have to see if it's a retail packaging tray is going to be good in the shelves. Then we have to measure also testing and transport. And we have to have a good performance of the full pallet to go into the distributors. And finally, transfer of knowledge to Danone staff. The Supreme project was very successful. It resulted in making Danone more effective and competitive. We also created a more sustainable approach to their business with a much improved carbon footprint. In Danone, we realized the difference it's made to our business. The Suplin project has been so successful that similar initiatives are being introduced in Danone plants across Spain, with a view to deploying the approach throughout the entire Danone network. We think we have to launch this into other markets, other customers, because indeed it helps the relationship between the customer and supplier. Both together we can go much further and much quicker.